Alrighty. Stream health unstable. Seems good, seems good. Wow, that was a fast shot of Shelby Van. The Dyer! And... Kunka. Lycan. Lycan's a pretty good hero. The Dyer! The only person I playing is Dustfinger, so it makes sense they ban it against him. Is the Kunka a Logan respect ban? Here's the Radiant be. ban! Uh. Night Stalker, Shadow Shaman. Pretty common first round bans. The Monkey King. A little confusing to me. I don't know if that's, uh. Maybe a researched. ban towards someone. Oh, no, that's, uh. Sergeant Scrub, isn't it? Ten seconds. So I guess that makes sense too. Five seconds remaining. Two player aimed bans. Whereas uh, toxic idiots. Dyer's turn to pick. SF though, pretty meta best. This is actually the first game that uh, toxic idiots. I thought they were called No Naga, but I guess they're toxic idiots. Radiant's turn to pick. Dang. Playing the season. So this could be interesting. Oh, Bane actually got through. This is the first time this has happened. Bane let through the first round. Immediately picked. Uh, interested to see how it does. Since it has been uh, banned every other game. Jack. I assume for Ceres. Pretty, I guess, Ten standard. seconds left by my count. Position five here. Five seconds remaining. I feel like there are kind of some better options. I think heroes like Wyvern and Witch Doctor are probably stronger, but Jakiro does its job. Dyer's turn to pick. Faceless Void. Really void pick. I, I kind of like that, I think. And I'm also kind of don't like it at the same time. Uh, it does combo Radiant's pretty well to Hero. Keeper of the light. But there's there's now two heroes that can mess him up in Chrono. Bane can potentially sleep around him. They now. now have the Caudal Blast as well. I I do like the idea of not picking both supports in the first phase. I think that can be potentially constricting to the rest of your draft. Radiant's turn to and Void does cause issues for a lot of heroes. Like if he just gets a Shadow Blade and he gets the jump on, like, the Caudal, for example, makes pushing much easier. Uh, yeah, we'll see. I'm not sure if it's the best early pick. The Dyer get a ban. It's an A ban. That's something else that works pretty well with Void. Bristle PL, just strong heroes, I assume. Radiance oh, turns to there. pick. Also, I, th I imagine Bristle will be pretty annoying for that safe lane. Faceless is never really going to get to a point where he's forcing him out of lane. Though he could potentially kill him in Chrono. This could, of course, actually be a half lane void. That is always an option. I'd almost be Five a little surprised, remaining. based on what I've seen of this team previously. They seem to like the simple offlaners. Thunderlord, Tide, Bristle. Or Centaur. I don't think I should pick that one. I like Centaur. Hello. What's up, Blackjack? Whoa, I'm so excited about this game. I see a Bane in it. <laughs> yeah, this is the first time Bane hasn't been banned and just instantly.
Thoughts on the early Void pick into a Bane? I think it's an offlane Void, probably, most probably. Dyer's turn to pick. Bounty that does hunter. make more sense to me. Bounty Hunter? I like Bounty Hunter. Bounty Hunter quite a lot if it can be played seconds. well. Five seconds remaining. Radiance turn to pick. Dyer's turn to pick. Sniper. Right, quick picks. Alright, I assume that's a mid sniper. Which, uh, it's decent, I guess. You can kind of stay out of range of all that crap. Ten seconds. So, there are there are many counters for him in middle. Five yeah. seconds remaining. Yeah, he kind of, like, always gets something out of lane. Especially with the SF band. I think. And it's SF, it potentially gets to a point where... He just hits too hard for you to get any last hits. But against everyone else, he always gets something. With the Bounty Hunter, they have a lot of kill potential too, actually. Shrap yeah, yeah. With the, the Oove hits. Combo as well with the Here's Void. The it's nice, band. nice pick. Kills CK. Die. I don't know what to say about the fourth ban on Spirit Breaker. I don't think anybody would fourth or fifth pick him. Yeah, I'd agree. Ten seconds. They maybe just couldn't think of anything Five else. I don't know. Yeah, I'd agree though. Now. I couldn't really see them picking it. Doesn't really counter their draft in any way either. Keeper of the Light and Bane stop charge very easily. Chaos Knight could be a problem for Sniper, potentially. Uh, if he gets, like, armed by Echo Blink, seconds. he just blinks on Sniper and kills him. It's also potentially very remaining. dangerous for Void and Lane. Yeah, for the moment, I think the only problem for CK is Void. And Void has a pre pretty big uh, cooldown ult. Dyer's turn to pick. Radiant's turn to pick. Queen of Pain. <laughs> they just pick Dusa here? I think they just pick Dusa. Yeah, I think so. It works pretty well with Chrono, very well against CK. Yeah. I'm surprised they didn't ban her. Yeah, I think that would have been a much better ban than Sven. I mean, Sven, you just bane him. Yeah, yeah, exactly. And Dusa. Dusa can just build eggs and CK is done for the game, honestly. Yeah. I know it's also a hero that Young Mouse really likes as an added bonus, or I think he likes it. I've seen him play it multiple times. Uh, they played her in their previous game, one of their the previous scrims. games. Yeah, they played it, and I think he played it last season as well. Yeah, they're really thinking this through, though. That, like, maybe they're scared of the Bane of Medusa. And they all... Whoa, whoa. Mm. Mm, I don't like this pick. I don't really like it either. Razor can't, can't do anything with CK. Against CK. Just gonna get blown up. Yeah, I don't think they have... They don't really have answers for CK other than just chrono him and kill him. I 
I guess Razor is good against Doom. Like laning, like laning wise, Razor's he gonna feel nicer than do so, but I'm not sure it's worth it for what's gonna happen after laning phase. Ten seconds left by my count. Five seconds. Yeah, I think Razor does really well against Doom because even after Doom gets six and he dooms Razor, uh, Razor has that purge, so Doom can get near him. He, he can just run and survive. Yeah. And if in a fight, if he's already, if Razor's already got his W and ult off, it doesn't even matter if you do him, he'll just keep fighting. So what do we got player-wise? This paused? Okay, no. Like, really, other than Chrono, they have really zero solutions for CK. Nobody can tank him, nobody can uh, disable him. That's their only disable. In the Prepare earlier stages way. of the game, they could maybe, like, captain? catch him in a micro pie the Shrapnel. Get rid of his illusions, but that's not very really reliable. So grateful. Oh, they're actually putting, putting Razor mid and Sniper bottom. Interesting. Uh... We got Kruger on the Sniper, Seri's on the Chikiro, Dustfinger Bounty Hunter, Young Mouse Razor, Gallo Void, this is fairly expected, and Minu on CK, I don't know a lot about Minu, Exhal on the Bane, Logan on Co-op, Sergeant Scrub on Coddle, and Kyrix on the Doom. Actually, for the sake of just players, I really like the Coddle pick. Because Sergeant Scrub's like their second best player on the four. So you want to give him something that can have a lot of impact. Coddle is a really annoying hero. Really annoying. Yeah. And if the player knows how to play him, he's gonna have a huge impact, honestly. And I think... In terms of like the way he just delay pushes, Dyer's very now happy to take his lane with the CK because they have no stuff. late game solutions for CK. Alright, blocks the small camp. Nice ward. Sees the bounty rune too. I like that quite a lot actually. It's a nice little ward. The infamous Logan pause. I'm not sure this uh, bot lane for Radiant's gonna go well with this little regen. They have five tangos between them. So they had to use a bunch with the early aggression of the caudal. If they get hit by one too many illuminates, they just they gotta leave. Yeah, yeah, and Doom is not the easiest hero to arrest because after he gets level three, you just take damage arresting him because yeah. of his sculpture. Forced to right click under uh, last under tower with 46 damage as well. That is not a good feeling. Uh, I think this lane is going in favor for Dyer. Yeah, very much so. Looks like mid's going pretty well too. Bounty Hunter is just sitting here being a nuisance. Wait, no, that's Radiant. Okay, so I think mid's, mid's the only lane Dyer may have trouble with. I mean, top should be a wash, I think. 
CK versus Void does not sound enjoyable for Void. Once this Doom gets boots, which he probably should have bought by now with the amount of money he has, it's very scary. Buy your boots. First blood. Oh, what the heck? All right, I totally First missed that. Blood. You see what happened? <laughs> uh, no, I missed it too. <laughs> I did not expect that for a co-op to kill a razor. I watched razor before; he was really low, and I saw he has a soul. I thought he's gonna be, but apparently, cop just killed him. I think she had a level advantage from the from the bounty hunter sitting there. Yeah, yeah, she yeah, only gained 100 XP the from the kill, and she was. So I think she was a level ahead of him. Level two daggers, right clicked him down, maybe blinked on him. There's a team bounty hunter here. Lots of issues. Just blink away though. Yeah, but I Blinks think it... Yeah, now they could kill him, but I think it's a very bad way to put bounty hunter there because they don't have big kill potential in middle. Yeah, I think you're right. Uh you can zone cop out. She should just should have gone bottom more earlier. May actually be able to kill the Doom here. He's coming in with the DD room. They see him though, so he's gonna run the other way. He's got the thunderclap now. It's a very nice spell, I think, for Doom. It's uh, one of the cheaper ones. 50 mana for a slow and a nuke. This bounty hunter is just sitting here. Steals the haste room. Blob. Pretty big considering she has a bottle. Sniper is still having a pretty rough time though. I think Kotal is dead. Shiro also died. Probably better for the Dire there. Or the better for the Radiant even. Really got these teams mixed up. He's coming back with such a sword. As long as Bounty isn't able to just deboard that, I'll be happy. Oh, Bounty really waited on his impulse there. Wow, two health. He was very close to dying. For no real reason. <laughs> Bane hasn't really done much. Like with an early point and then feeble to really ruin someone's day. Uh, I'm not sure if that's the best uh, thing to do because 
it has like 95 mana cost and you have like 350 mana you won't be able to spam uh, the enemy of laner it's better to just zone him out with your W that's fair being chased by a bounty hunter. They see him though. I think bounty's dead. Oh, oh. Oh, he's getting away actually. Shiro saves him with the breathe fire. Or dual breath. He fires dragon knight. Oh! Klopp almost kills the razor, but whiffs her ult. Razor going back on him now. Well, oh, Bane comes in and saves the day with the green side. That was almost really bad. That was a big misplay by Logan. Oh, she missed the ult? Yeah, he missed the quap ults on a Razor. I would have killed the Razor. Then Razor just turns with like 200 damage. Boyd's maxing Bash in this lane. Not sure if that's the play. Guess I can just repeatedly W him. If you warded a uh, Sentry bottom, it's a pretty big deal. Yeah, ba this lane could have been different about him here. About was here earlier. You're definitely right there. Uh, they got too much, too many levels in the beginning. Yeah. Room bottom, Quap get that. Finders keepers. <laughs> she has. That's potentially Haste. gonna be a kill. Hold on right now. She popped it immediately. I think she has the greatest middle tower is under pressure. Even though Razor died two times, Cop has, uh, he has the advantage in that it. Yeah, I mean, that's kind of how Razor is, I guess. Even if you like, W the Quap and she leaps away and she gets some kills on you, so it's gonna be able to outlast hit her. Especially with the phase boots, they do so much damage. She, she still has the net worth lead though, so that's good for her. In fact, all three of Dyer's cores are on top. I discharge uh, your way soul. Wait, mid? I assume he was like hoping to chrono up at some point, but they ran into Bane instead. Potentially good for the Dyer. Although Chrono is still up. Oh! Oh! Uh, top tower is under that's, attack. that's something I think you kind of need to see coming. You need to be prepared to cancel Dyer's that. Middle the tower is under attack. With a blink. You know he's just waiting for that. Yeah. Oh, the kill snipe at the bottom. Oh, that was, was that just by alone? Uh, no, I think they killed him. Yeah, they were chasing Doom, I think. Has Doom has Doom now, so... That's potentially just another kill waiting Double to happen. Damage. Dyer's bottom tower is about to flounder. Gold is a great conductor. Yeah, they have the kill onto the void. Yes, they use Doom on him. Eludes me. I mark your soul. There's no T1 up here, so having four heroes explains a bit of a waste. But Quap has already TP'd back mid. DD Razor though, it's gonna be hard to last it. Nope, JK is worn out. Huh. Quap has a lot of damage with this double treads, even against the face boots. Connell's getting some space to farm now, which is good. Denied. 
You wish. Oh, then he has his ult. Maybe they will try to pick up on Razor. Yeah, I think they can. Is he already up here? Does Razor see him? Maybe with day vision? Going on the Doom, but they're about to get blasted. Okay, it actually does need to die on I don't think they can kill this Doom. Radiant oh, they can probably kill Coddle. Coddle has a... Like a drunk sailor. Uh, I would hit it all, man. Got caught there. Considering that was a track kill, much better for the Radiant. They just kill Void Pulse. Alright, it's odd if they don't use it. Radiant's middle tower can't handle this deluge. Okay, nope, there he goes. Yeah, he's dead. As was promised. There he goes. I think Blair is getting much more out of those trades. Because they don't care about early game. They care about getting in late. Detection on Bane, so he's like scouted out this bounty and he just can't do anything about it. It's kind of unfortunate. He's also stacking ancients or trying to stack ancients. I'm not sure who that's for. Fit for a queen. Like, who does ancients on the dire team? Steal your CK with an ult. Mm, I guess CK can farm them with ult, but I don't know. It's not the most efficient way. with a special ping. Very nice. Uh, this, this Bane's in a very bad position. Oh, he nightmare him. <laughs> that was a... Yeah, it's still a track kill, but not track kill. Like, I kind of turned it around. Oh, the call's dead too. That's pretty bad. Another chrono blow, though. It's, uh... That's my one concern with the Void all playing. Okay, that was not the Doom. Dyer's middle tower is that's, drowning. Uh, that's real unfortunate. <laughs> Alright, both offlaners have whiffed their ults in the middle lane. What a day. Sniper's kind of been giving some sp given some space to catch up here. Which uh, is good for the Radiant. Oh, my Man Coddle are back to make his life miserable again. Bane is actually coming down with ults. Yeah, he's smoked up too. Throw a line to and he's... We have an invisible CK. Like they have been seen by a ward. Actually, got too close to the tower, I think. Or maybe it was just the sniper. And the little ward back there sees him. Have the spy glass at they have a void coming. Hold on to the sniper. There we go. CK is here. Thirsting for blood. Killing Double kill. Follow the prediction play, but it doesn't even matter. Some hero is just dead. Alright, big rotation down here. Uh, very important sniper kill, tower, and hero kill. Team goes back top of the world. It's fine, I think. They can get the tower with the, uh... Radiant's bottom tower faces a stiff win. Radiant's bottom tower has rung its last bell. They killed the void here with a crit. No crits. No crits. There we go. But CK doesn't really care. Still no crit. Whoa. There's no. Okay, there you go. Whoa. There's the Empress. Almost got two there. Finders keepers. Haste. I was being more of a fan of the armlet first over Echo Saber first, but it works pretty well still. Doom, 
W'd up by the roots. He's doomed. I'm not sure he cares too much about that. Oh, Mega kill. Blast him. There you go. I've lost my edge. That is dead razor. It's four man rotation, but it is a dead razor. CK is still farming top. Happy lad. I think I think this game is really hard for Radiant. They have too many conditions to be able to take off single fight. I think they need Chrono. They they need all five heroes, and actually they need a good Chrono to catch Bane and Doom maybe. They didn't have Razor there. Oh, CK saved the day though. Get a one tread swap. I think he may have had enough mana, but I don't expect so much, I suppose. Shot. But he lives. He has that passive from the creep. Yeah, they actually buffed that relatively recently, so it's not like utter garbage anymore. It actually does. 10%. Radiance Middle Tower can't handle this deluge. Yeah, I'm I'm really not sure how the radiance is gonna bring this back around. Well, now they have Macropire, they can, if they get another good Chrono with Macropire and Shrapnel in it, Razor they outside have the... Did he just... No, they, they didn't, they didn't. They just didn't have it leveled up? I don't like that. No, it, it wasn't leveled up. I see that quite a lot where Jakiro skip it, I've never been a fan, especially if you have someone to combo, like a Void. It's just... seems like a bad choice. So you're just taking additional point of dual breath instead. It's so minor. They didn't take any tower, even though they have Jakiro. Yeah. I mean, if they if they try and group anywhere, they just get fought. Dyer have been very on, or yeah, Dyer have been very on point with their rotations. I think. Gold is a great conductor. Especially with like a hero like Quap is so good at rotating in the early game. Like, you just show up to a fight and scream. It's, it's, it just turns it around. I think Radiant now should go no, on a smoke. Now that they have Chrono, they should do something. Yeah. They have Bounty to scout for someone, and just go smoke, kill CK, then take a tower. They have a smoke on the hero. Maybe they'll do it here. Doesn't look like they're gonna. They could push out oh. first, I guess. Oh, they're trying to do these... This ancient stack was a mistake. Alright, they're actually getting this. This is not the end of the world. Only took their entire team. <laughs> okay. It's actually the Dyer that has oh. immediately run to the Bounty Hunter. They don't have dust. Okay, either. he's walked into yes. the center though, so... That's good. Did they do? <laughs> yeah, they did. Right, they did. Right as he died, too. Doom's getting a gotten a little trigger happy this game, I think. It's been some couple questionable dooms here. 
I think even with the bounty hunter dead, the dire or the radiant even should be definitely looking for a fight. No do. Get all the shit up already. Boy's kind of caught up by the mana. Young mouse is half dead. And he doesn't have mana for both Q. Oh, he's dead. That, who's the silence? Oh, uh, or he's or he's. Scenario had the warm too. I probably would have popped it just in case. Oh dear, there's now a gripped razor. There's no longer a gripped razor. Oh, but there's a cloth which is ready to jump. That ult probably could have been a bit better, you know. That's the worst. Alright, the Bane. Oh. <laughs> it's actually alive. Okay. That was that was not the play by the bane. It was funny how long he lived for. Oh, mighty money. Still calling off, can't chase any further. This is this is my this is the one issue I think with offlane void. That if you don't get farm early, you just don't have farm. So the hero doesn't have any like nuke or anything that catches him back up like you either get farm early and you hit chronos and kill people or you don't and you just don't have money yep this is true finders keepers i think void needs a blink not a shadow blade they have a bounty yeah. So they they will most likely have sentries. So uh, Bonnie really needs a good initiation. Yeah, I'd rather see the blink as well. Okay, oh, they need the void. That's pretty good doom actually. It stops them from chronoing. Uh, yeah, that was well played by the doom. Though the doom is wearing off, and they have this guy tracked up. There is the. They're trying to bring down Radiant's top down. What? Great right. chrono, but it worked. Did his job. Maybe probably gonna get a bane too. Radiant's top down. Yes, okay, range of. Bountiful. Time is money. That was not an ideal fight, but. It's... It's kind of the best thing they've gotten in a long time. If they can get the Caudal, that would be pretty fantastic. He is faster than the Bounty Hunter, even with the track buff. I mean, the attack tank, he's still faster. Is under attack. Yeah, movement speed, talent, and tranquil boots. Um, I believe an already fast hero. Insane, actually. He's just getting away. Double damage! Worthy tribute. What's this? Dyer fortified their structures? Dyer's middle tower is under attack. Ah, there, there it goes. Saying hello, I guess. down a bit here Radiance bottom tower Oh Cutler almost got his eggs I'm on the man Yeah I was quite happy Sitting neatly between the Radiant mid and off lane on the net worth chart He has more network more he has more network than void mm -hmm. I think it's almost expected Oh, just farms so much faster. 
Radiant's middle and tower with the amount of map control that I have right now, there is just more farm available to them. Logan making a lot of space here on the co-op, I think. Like, the way he's playing and farming, it's, it's kind of risky, but it's just forcing them to, like, think they can kill him when they can't. Farming between their 2T, their T2 and T3, that kind of shit. They got- Oh, Doom and Chrono used. That's- uh, Yo, Doom is already used though. Who's Doom used on? Doom is used on the Razor. They don't kill the Void and Bane ults. He's super low. He's dead tower. He's under attack. He's still no detection for this map. He'll eventually get the, uh, tower. gem axe, I assume. to the bottom. <laughs> really Double kill. Right, all the ults were used, <laughs> except uh, I the storm, I guess, and it worked out pretty well for Dyer. And now they don't have burn to stop CK. Still have. Yeah, still have uh, Radiance Middle Tower can't handle this Delu. Radiance Middle Tower has fallen. Dyer's bottom tower won't last long. At last. A CK finished his Manta, now they will probably rush and go for the end game. I would have liked to see a blink on the CK, I think, to try and jump on the sniper, but it isn't bad either. They have a pretty clear win condition out in front of them, whereas Radiant is just crossing their fingers something good happens. I think Radiance's only chance is now for a good fight on high ground. They have really good high ground defense with yeah. Jakiro and uh, Sniper, so they might turn the game right there. Yeah, if they get a couple, I think I think it needs to be more than one. I think it needs to be a couple good fights on their high ground. Oh, they're coming to the Roche pit. But even so, I think the advantage is too big, and their lineup. The only chance is a good Chrono, I'd say. Only chance. Yeah, because I think if they just like stall out the game with high ground defense, it doesn't really win them the game. They need to actually fight on high ground. Doom used on Bounty Hunter. No detection. Uh, I guess that allows them to rush. Now Bounty can't scout them. So, that's okay, I guess. Roshan has fallen to the dark. Dyer's top tower is under attack. Should get this bot, this last T2, very easily. Dyer's top tower needs dead. some friends. I'm not sure if they can push high ground because Yakiro just destroys the case clones. Radiant's bottom tower has fallen. They need to be able to kill something or multiple people before they go high ground. They need to kill a sniper or avoid, I think. Yeah. Or Jakiro. Even Jakiro is good. For now, they're just gonna farm it up. They're trying to abuse their map control. Worthy I think perhaps if CK gets to the point where he has like a heart and a blink, he can just jump on someone. Alright, he's going for Scotty, he's going for neither. I'm not. I don't like this. I don't like it at all. I mean, first of all, a heart's just objectively better, but if, you, if you're if you gonna pick one, 
Like, it's more damage, it's the regen, it's more health. You don't really care about the slow, you're just Wing people. I think Heart is better for the agility heroes, but CK, CK with Tarask is just perfect. Yeah. You, you get that throw HP for your clones, you get huge damage, you get a lot of uh, regeneration, which is perfect for him, to get in and out of fights. Yeah, 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 I don't think uh, Heart's better than Scotty in all situations, it's on CK in particular. And then I really think he wants a blink to be able to jump the sniper. Like, it's, uh, it's a very good CK item. They are not dropping macro fire. Okay, the void blinks in because Whoa. he's a very well played enemy. Uh, the claw falls on Swift happens. Now they draw the uh, macro fire. The bounty hunter gets doomed again, poor lad. It doesn't matter though, they've lost Jukiro and Boyd. Uh, okay, well, wow, they even get ults onto the Razor, he's also dead. I think it's GG. Yeah, this is over. There's no buyback on Boyd, they're gonna get Jukiro as Rex. Uh, maybe if somehow they win a fight through V5 here. They still have egg, he's on call. Yeah. gonna die in a safe place. Do you need to hit buildings? Well, they need to, well, they can take the melee back, I think. They're still a little afraid of the void with the chrono, unless they can blow up. Radiant's middle barracks getting what they yeah, deserve. Void has gone a very aggressive, almost to carry void build. That's the mom's kind of needed if you want to be useful. But... It's mom in the shadow blade with no funding. The, the hero is just useless. I, this is, I mean, this is kind of my issue with the Void pick. I think Mouse has had a fair amount of success picking, like, brain-dead offlaners. And not to, like, hate on Gallo or anything, but he is below the average MMR in this game. And I think he, he did very well on heroes like Bristleback and Centaur. And I'm not particularly surprised that he's having issues with Void. He, I believe he's, like, a support-only player in his pubs. Like, I think this is just out of his comfort zone. And also, I think they should have... I don't know, normally, in this game, you can tell that Void is very important. That he needs at least decent farm. So that you have a chance. So I would have just moved him on bottom, maybe. Yeah. In a normal game. Uh, put something like Sniper Mid and Razor on a dual offlane. Oh, Chrono only hits the illusions, though. They just get W'd right out the Chrono. I didn't even think about that interaction. Bane ults onto the Razor. Sniper is still putting out these damage in the back line. Oh, does kill the CK with it. And we have a GG. That's, that's GG though. I, I think Dyer had a better draft and played very well. Radiance draft required a lot of good things to happen and they just didn't. Yeah. It's hard to say. Uh, everyone on Razor just played very well, I think. Yeah, I think I think the most the biggest problem was the draft. Or on diary. Maybe if Void had that Shadow Blade earlier or Blink, it could have changed something. The initiation. Yeah. Oh, wait, let me make sure I get in the next lobby. What's up? You're already here.
I think Logan's team looks very, very solid, honestly. Yeah. I, I, yeah, I wasn't really sure what to think of them beforehand, because this is the first week they've played, they got a forfeit win week one. But after seeing them for the first time, they looked very, very good. I like how they put Surgeon Scrub on a uh, support position. I think it, it's very important to have a higher uh, skilled player there. Yeah. Yeah, he does a lot of work. Oh, they changed. They changed the hard to carry. They swap Mina for Potato King. Okay. Then they're probably swapping someone on the other team too. This, who are they swapping though? Swapping Gallo for Cool Hexor. Yeah, that's uh, that's like a league requirement. They have six man teams, so if everyone shows up, you gotta swap between games. Yeah. I'm really curious how would be a game between those two teams where the drafts are really balanced. I think both teams are really good. Yeah, I agree with you there. Though that is something to keep in mind, I think Logan's probably one of the better captains, if not like the best captain, when it comes to that kind of stuff. So I'm not sure how often there will be a particularly balanced draft. I feel like he's more likely to have a better one. We'll see though, maybe I'm going to eat my words here. He's definitely got some experience and thinks the right way, I think. All right. Here's the radiant ban. Uh, oh, like on radiant ban. All right. I imagine the the first bans and picks will be kept relatively the same. The dire get a ban. Considering it went well last time, they banned Bane. <laughs> All right, that was probably the last game we'd ever see Bane in. 
I don't, I don't think Bane had that much impact last game. I, I don't think he had great Dyer's impact, but like now. in those, there was like three or four fights where he just gripped someone and that person died. Which yeah, yeah, yeah considering that's... the skill of the player playing it, I think was uh, very good. No flame once again, but. There is a very large differences between the players in this league. So when, like one of the worst players on your team is just killing people with the press of a button. It's uh, very difficult for the enemy team. So we break our band very early this game. Ten seconds. Which as a first phase ban, I kinda get, but considering no one picked him first phase Five last game, seconds remaining. It's a little surprising. Maybe they're expecting to like respond. Maybe they're expecting Mouse to pick it earlier this game or something. I don't know. Because I assume they're not going to pick up Bounty Hunter again. That didn't really work for them. Dyer's turn I assume that's to what he's pick. expecting there. Radiant's turn to pick. Alright, Sean. Radiant's turn to pick. Lion. Alternative Shaman. Uh, that was a very quick Lion pick. I feel like they, they knew they wanted that. Which is interesting. It, do, it goes, does give them, like, mid-game a lot of kill potential. Ten like, seconds. you just smoke up someone with a Lion and with Finger and you just go kill someone. Five and they didn't really have that remaining. last game, so I guess it fills that gap. But I'm, not, I'm not wild about Lion as a hero right now. Personally, Dyer's turn to pick Omni Knight. Omni. Is Omni banned? I, think, mm, I don't remember. I don't think so. They anyway had the uh, like void second pick, so they, they probably didn't want to pick Omni that Five thing. seconds remaining. I want to say it was banned. Maybe it was banned second phase? I'd be really surprised if it went through without being banned. I'll have to look at look back at that in a bit. Yeah. Or after the game. I'm really thinking here. I wonder if they were hoping to get him. Here's the yeah. radiant ban. Keeper oh, of yeah. the light. I think a very I think a very underrated hero is Brewmaster. He works so well because he has the part from his Storm Panda. That could just disable all the Guardian Angel. Yeah, I like Brew as a hero, but I mean, after seeing like the Brew in the scrim that we watched with the Dusa, I gotta wonder if maybe it's just like there's not enough players that can play it. I don't know. I don't, like think, hero, so. I don't think the skill level is that high, it's just that maybe people don't like him and don't practice him. Yeah, I think that's what it is. I don't think he's super hard to play, but you just need a little bit of practice. Maybe people are unwilling to practice. Ten seconds. Uh, the bounty Five ban. Seconds remaining. I don't think it did a lot last game, but it's fair to ban it. I don't think they're scared of much else, I guess. Maybe ban CK, honestly. I guess with Coddle, maybe you're not super scared of CK. Dyer's ban now. Alright, Young Mouse bans Void. Ten seconds left by my count. Five seconds remaining. Radiant's turn to pick. Not particularly surprising bands, I guess. You got Bounty Hunter and some annoying to deal with cores. I'm not, I feel like both teams are fairly open-ended and one that can pick here. 
Mickey Mouse probably wants to pick Five his fourth position. Remaining. Tusk and Clock are both in the pool. And I think, I think they will go with Medusa. She was not banned, and as you said, he, it's his favorite hero, or one of his best. I, I wonder, like, if they weren't willing to pick it last game, I don't know, maybe they have, like, some reason they don't want to pick it. Because last game it looked really perfect for Dusa, and they didn't pick it. Maybe they were afraid of Doom, or I don't know. Yeah, I know, maybe, maybe the Mirana. new Bane, Uh, that might be a roaming Marana? Uh, yeah, I think they run Omni Knight as an offlaner. That's what they did on the screen. In the screen. Yeah, yeah, I assume it'd be Omni Offlane, but it could be like Marana Core or Marana roaming. Like, it could be a mid or a roaming. I assume they don't want to pick their mid that early. Ten seconds. Five so seconds flexible. remaining. I don't think Roaming Moran is super strong, but yeah, I agree. I don't like it. Seem to like it. At least I've heard players and captains talking about it before. I mean, I think it's too situational. If you don't get kills, you're not doing anything. Yeah. You don't have you don't have a good disable, a instant disable. I think it's very much a uh, pub thing. It's like you try and get kills early with a skill shot, and then you kind of just Dyer's steal farm until you're old. Drow Ranger. Drow Ranger. This may actually be a mid Marana then. Drow Strat. Or they could be setting up for a Dusa. Put repel on the do so draw aura. Ten Not a seconds. Lot you can do about that. Five seconds remaining. Actually, draw aura on Medusa is so strong. You just get face boots and mescal menace on her, and you have that next. You hit like a truck. Yeah. You have repel. Other than that. A lot of heal, a lot of disables from land. Yeah, I think uh, Dyer should definitely consider banning Dusa in the fifth stage. Unless they're planning to pick something that deals with it. I don't think any hero will just take Dusa out of the game. I think they have to ban it here. Or they might pick her. They could pick her themselves, that is true. I'm not sure it's as good for them, though. Yeah, I agree. They have that lion and Omni. Like, the, the the Radiant heroes aren't really going to commit. Like, there there's heroes, like a lot of melee heroes, that like, commit to killing a Dusa and then she ults. And they're forced to either get stoned or run away. And so she just, just gets a ton of right clicks off. Drow and Marana can just turn away very easily and then re-engage. Or Drow and whatever other ranged hero they pick. So I don't, I don't think it's as good for them. Yeah, and there's also the Guardian Angel, of course, as you mentioned. I think they probably want a, like a core that can fight, offer maybe some lockdown, because Nature's Prophet doesn't have the traditional fighting tools, not like a Tide or an Underlord offlane would. And maybe, may, maybe a CK again. Right, they've gone for a Tinker. They have a lot of. Uh, uh, this is uh, this is the high ground of death. Ten seconds. Yet, I the mean, Dyer like, get a ban. I assume I assume the concept here is that if Dire, or if Radiant, sorry, want to like group up and push high ground as you often would with a Drow Strat, you just have Caudal Blasts and March of the Machines. While Tinker and Nature's Prophet are also split pushing. Ten seconds left by and then you have the words from Shadow Shaman. Yeah. Well. Five seconds they remaining. Just can't push high ground and they lose their own towers. I still think they ban Dusa though. Maybe. Is there a bigger threat? I can't really think of one. 
I'm not even sure what they pick. Dyer's turn Man, to pick. pick. Okay, I, I guess they're still thinking that they need a... Radiant's turn need a to four pick. on Radiant, which doesn't make sense. Terrible. Now even more pushing. Yeah. I'm slightly concerned. The Marana and Drow have such a long range, seconds. and they also have the silence. If he's potentially going to get picked out without getting his ult off. Don't you dare pick Tidehunter! Nice, so that is a roaming Marana. What? Conga! I definitely like seeing Young Mouse on these like super late game carries. Like, he, like I liked when he played like CK Medusa Morph in the past. Uh, I'm not sure how good Morph is this game though. I guess they don't really have any stuns outside the Shaman, which with the way his shift works now is nice. And he can blow up the Tinker and maybe even the Terror Blade or the Coral. He has a lot of targets that are very good for blowing up. I'm just concerned that they have decent burst from the Tinker and probably an Orchid at some point from the Nature's Prophet. Yeah, yeah. So. He's gonna have to be very careful not to get blown up this game. I think it works, but I don't know. I I, I like Dusa way more. I didn't see their left ban. Uh, it, it was their shaker actually. Yeah, I, I almost like the Morphling more than the Dusa. Like, the, the one issue they're gonna have with Dusa is that Dusa is highly immobile. And Dyer's gonna be constantly Prepare split pushing them. And Dusa just can't deal with a split push. Whereas a Morphling can, I think. Like, if he catches a split pusher, they're just dead. Yeah, yeah, you're right, actually, yeah. Yeah, so it's not bad. He's just gonna be careful. He's just gonna have to be careful, and he needs to get his early farm as well. I think they need to put more effort into stopping the Coddle having a good early game. Because if Coddle just makes his his lane hell, and he doesn't get the farm to get going, it's not going to be very impressive. Thirty seconds to battle. Scouting a bit with the trance. They know there's three top. Now we get the good stuff. I the the seeds of fortune. <laughs> right, he managed to get that banner in. They're just scared to go. Oh wait, it's more safe then. Oh yeah, I kind of forgot the fact they had a draw and a morph. Huh. Come, come. I guess. He's already got. I, I mean, I'm not sure what to say about this. I mean, Joe has that silence, but she can get bursted while morph it's. On Morph, it's harder. First blood! The witch. Surely there was blood before right, I totally that missed one. That. I can't quite remember. That's not good, though. I assume you're just gonna go right click down and. Yeah. Wave. A little bit positioning and. Yeah, Lion does not do well in lane. That is, that is one big issue this, this Morph is gonna have. Lion can't secure lanes, and the Caudal Nature's Prophet is incredibly annoying. Maybe Dustfinger can do some work here. Right now he's just stealing the range creep. See, Jarrell's getting lost its mid. That's good. 
So I think this game, their support should just go and camp Tinker Mid because they can't really stop Kotler from waving Morph or uh, Nature's cutting the wave. They can they can do anything. In the end, they could just stomp Tinker Mid. Morph would get even more experience and the same farm, I think. And <coughs> I think, I don't know, I think it's their best solution for these slings. Yeah, I think you're it's right working. there. Especially the Marana. Yeah, I'm sure the Marana is doing like nothing here. Yeah, they could like try go mid and get a, a spike in the arrow. Worst case scenario, just gonna click the tinker. Yeah, right now they're just gonna soak an XP without doing anything useful. Oh, oh, Omni got a lot. Yeah. Same level as Terrorblade. It's just gonna split farm. Terrorblade is getting more last hits, which is actually kind of surprising considering Omni Knight has over 10 damage on him, but. Happens, I guess. This stun from Lion. This is most of his health just to right clicks. Yeah, they need to go elsewhere. Even if it feels really bad for the morph to be alone in this lane. The prize is mine. He's top. Someone could potentially make some good use out of that. Like, what has Shaman been doing? I actually haven't really been paying attention to him. Is he just oh, he's active? been stacking, yeah. Actually, has decent levels. I'm surprised, actually. I think he got it from Terrorblade a little. Yeah. Alright, Sony Knight feels like he needs to sit under his own tower, so that's good. For the I think Omni should, can, can just fight kill someone else. Yeah, yeah, I, I don't think he needs to sit under his tower like this, but... If you've convinced him otherwise on the Shaman somehow, good for you, I guess. Haste! Oh, we see an attempt for Terminal? Nope. Uh, Metamorphs is popped by Terrorblade. Really, the Shaman wasn't even there. I feel like you should have saved that for when a Shackle gets off. Drow's coming to Shrine now. There isn't a lot of last hits on these, on this all flame duo, at least in comparison to last game. Oh yeah, it was just the first time I realized that. Even so, I think they put a lot of pressure on more things. Yeah, they're still doing their job, but they could definitely be getting more out of this. Looks like the support's but going mid now. Terrorblade has only two last hits advantage for over more. I think Morph got so much less experience just because of the tri lane button. Yeah, that arrow was really off by the Marana. That's kind of the issue with trying to run this hero as like an actual four. Uh, the arrow missed, and then she accomplished nothing. So that, that's all that hero does. They had to force uh, pretty big rotations to the mid lane. Just try and save the Tinker. Probably didn't need him, but... Good anyway. The Shaman has an Invis room. Oh wow, okay, I just saw... Top 
Omni Knight got Terrorblade really low, but then he was Sundered. He's gonna get killed by the Shaman. Almost guaranteed. Shaman just needs to Q. I am afraid. Death is not the end, but it might. Yeah, that's unfortunate. For Radiant. Radiant's bottom tower faces a stiff win. <laughs> Try an arrow mid, they miss. Morphling's being forced pretty far back again. I think you should be using the uh, Radiant's bottom tower is under attack. Agility or whatever it's called, attribute shift more his advantage shifting down when he's backing off to tango like that shifting back up no mana cost anymore yeah and there's also the thing to create hp from nothing if you know about it Fortune's change. Mm, don't think so what's that all about well for instance when you max your agility um you will get like maximum hp 300 so if you have like you are 300 HP out of 800, and you max shift agility, you will be 0 300, and you, when you shift again, you will have 200 more HP than you had before, at 0 mana cost. Oh shit, so Okay, yeah. That's interesting. That's a, that's a nice trick, actually. Uh, they, okay, terribly killed the Marana, that's what happened. This Marana pick isn't doing anything. In shock. She got a kill on the Shaman, I guess, but... Does that really mean? Radiant fortified their structures! Attack the hero. tower is under attack! Definitely going aggressive here. Lion, oh, lion has no boots. I am like, I'm trying to figure out why the lion is having such big issues catching people, but no boots. I'm sure, I'm sure you'll boots over wand. Look at me, look at me. Big silence into an arrow. Leap in with the star storm. This should be a dead shaman too. They play this right. We're on a need to That's move up to the vision there. Man. Looks like he's going down anyway. Wow. You are yeah, that was cool. nice. That was a nice play. Nice combo with the silence. Marana earning her keep. Uh, pretty big lasted lead, at least by the top two dire heroes. Can switch to Dire's now. middle tower is under attack. <laughs> Still pretty big. Immediate silence on the tinkers. He takes the lane. Get some damage onto him. Gets damage right back. And he has a bottle. Illusion. Arrow onto the caudal. Lands. Morph not really in a position to engage here. Waveform doesn't hit. Radiant's caudal has those tranquil boots. He's insanely fast. Another, Another arrow. arrow? Oh, very close. Cuddle was prepared. Mid lane, Drow's just farming jungle. Hard to lane against the Tinker Harass. He's got BOTs coming on Courier. I mean, this Omni Knight, you know, he's not really shutting down the Terra Blade, but he is getting his own farm. Which is, uh, good. Was that another arrow on the Caudal I missed? Yes. I, th I think they got another arrow on the Caudal, maybe. I didn't see, I didn't see. Or maybe it's just a lion stun. Something stunned him and then he died, so. Thanks. Good job, good job. Turning around the bottom lane. This is exactly what Morph needs, I think. He, he needs just to stay relevant, and he is doing so. It's not super farmed, but it's relevant.
Dyer's bottom tower is about to Oh, they have quite a few stacks on the other side. Like the small camp and the big camp there. Yeah, the sh it's like all the shaman's been doing, just stacking. Which is a good thing, I think. The terrible is going to get the sword, potentially the tinker, depending who they get. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They have four, four stacks on the big camp. It's like Tinker tried to go aggressive on Drow and she was saved by the Marauder Ults, but no loss for Tinker. Just keeps BOTing around. Double Wanting. damage. He's traveling. Uh, Nature's Prophet is a little poor, but in exchange for allowing the Coddle to have good farm, which I think is pretty worthwhile. TD Rune on the Shaman. Nature's Prophet TPing in. I think this is a dead army knight. No sorceries yeah, avail. This is W. Maybe a little early. Forward without fear, my friends. That's off the roots and run. There's no Q on the Terrorblade, so you can't slow the Omni Knight down in any way. Only night. I think he's misclicking his mid map a lot. And so his weird little walkbacks. I'm not leaping in. You do not want to be leaping into this. Dyer's bottom he's dead now. That was very poorly played. They, they had shrine. Oh. Radiant's top tower is All on the run. will break. Dyer's bottom tower is under attack. Killing spray. And they got tower as well. They got all three. That was that was a terrible play by Marana. I mean, her team also, I think, should have just let her die. But uh, just using all your leaps to go into a situation, there was no way anything good happened. Fortification. That was in a game where Radiance just barely hanging on. That is potentially like a game losing play, I think. Like Radiant needed everything to go perfectly. Radiant's top tower has I fallen. Watch this change. Uh, that's almost the thing. This is like I feel this was the same thing last game with draft, where uh, it felt like Radiant needed so many more things to go right than Dyer did. Dyer can just kind of get away with more mistakes. I'm not, I'm not sure what it is exactly, but. Something's not going right. I think Morph did really well this game last year. Yeah. His son was top of last year. Yeah, he's been playing very well. He's still in a place where he can potentially carry this game. Just what he needs to happen. They got a kill top, I totally missed it. But uh, I assume they arrowed a TB and then repeatedly right clicked him till he died. Pretty good strat. And Joe is almost behind Tinker in effort. Yeah, that, that kill just, I think, boosted her above the Nature's Prophet. Uh, it is it's still the bottom five heroes. I think are very heavily, or bottom six, I guess, really, are very heavily dire favored. Because the Caudal is almost like a half core. Yeah, yeah, that's true. And if they keep, like, having these games where they have more map control, it works very well. Because if, if you're lacking map control and Caudal's just kind of taking core from, taking farm from the other cores, it's a bit of a problem. Hello. When they have more of the map to use, it's a massive advantage. Alright, Omni Knight is in. He has his ult available. They jump the TV TV while he's there. Okay, thank you to the Shaman. That's good, I think. They still lose the tower. Catapults. Trance. They can maybe push. Actually, no, no way. Not with the tank or the model. The Tinker and the Caller are just going to make this game absolute hell for Radiant in the entire way through. They're just all low health above the rockets and horses. Uh, potentially give away a ward with that rocket? I don't think they noticed. 
If they had been paying attention, there was no way those would have hit. It wasn't for the ward right here. Maybe they said it in comps. They'll do something about it. Jesus. I think Draw's going for a Shadow Blade. I kind of like that. Gives her the ability to catch out the tanker. I don't think they can just go normal, like, Drow strat approach, where Drow buys a bunch of stats, they just group up and push. That's not gonna work. They need answers to their specific problems. And Shadow Blade's a very good answer to split pushers. I think it's a game so hard for Radiant just because they can't push. Yeah. Uh, I think eventually, I think when Drow gets the Shadow Blade, Maybe she can pick off the Tinker, or the Caudal, or even the Nature's Prophet. And then they can take, get a push off of that. Uh, Young Mouse just took their large stack top on the Morphling. Now, he's he's way ahead now because of that, actually. That was a stack that Terrorblade or Tinker should have taken a while ago. I saw Nature's Prophet trying to farm it, but he couldn't. He killed Bong. does a small creep. Yeah. Are they gonna be able to kill the Terror Blade here? They get the Hex. Oh, they stack stuns a bit, but it doesn't matter. He's down. Very well played there. Or, I'm not even sure if that was necessarily well played by the Radiant as much as it was just very poorly played by the Dire. The Terror Blade in particular. It's kind of walking up when he shouldn't have. They draw towards bottom. The ranged heroes can take them out pretty well. They have a uh, arrow under the Shaman. Or auto leaps in. Ron is very dead. <laughs> Killed him, I guess. I find it easy to respect you. Yeah, but I honestly don't think all those skills matter. Because... Uh, Radiant, I think he's gonna win every team fight with the heavy GA. But Dyer has really good disengagement and split pushing that they probably won't fight them. Kill. It's a thousand towards the Z-Blade now. This Morphling is getting very, very scary. Have the spy glass at hand. I, th I think this pick was actually, in hindsight, even better yeah, than I thought. Yeah, yeah. Tinker's bottom. Morphling, maybe, yes. I was They're actually showing. I can't kill him though. Some going on top. Drow shadow bladed in. Sees the shaman. Arrow lands. The tinker is here firing rockets. Oh, Not enough to make anything happen. Yeah, radiance kind of retaking control of this game. Uh, is the Terrorblade gonna try and run up to this morph? I don't think he can kill him because he has Lincoln. He definitely cannot. But in two? This is suicide, I think. Many. The Terrorblade just used to be hitting creeps and using his illusions. Not trying to gank a morphling. Shaman has a Shadow Blade and he's going into an Orchid. Uh, I've seen this guy play Shaw Nature's Prophet before. It's like pretty much the exact same build. Drums, Shadow Blade, Orchid. Or he went... Line, I think. Oh no, they actually silenced onto the Tinker. Terrible, he's there to save the day. Rana with... Yeah, another. Stars, take me. Deep into death. Yeah, it's locked the vision to the tower. Tower. I'm not sure they could have gone on the rails either. Dyer's bottom tower has fallen. Alright, they're getting kills, but they're actually the ones being routed themselves, Dyer's though. Bottom by this tower point. is under attack. Uh, Radiant's middle they've already tower taken all the towers attack. in that lane, so unless they're going to go high ground. Dyer's structures are fortified. 
I think they can go because they have the face, they have the third in the thermorphic. Yeah, morph is coming back. Oh, all I needed to back to base and get mana. It's kinda here with one mana. Purification! Radiant's top tower has fallen. Getting this Rex. This this off mana. I don't understand why he was just standing there. I think it's gonna be in a very different fight. This one is dead again. I don't I don't like this one. They're not making it work. Killing spree. Double kill. Terribly it is dead though. Oh, so is more There you go, getting blown up. He had 15 stick charges actually. I think he probably could have survived there. I don't think this was a good buyback. Because they already take the back. Is that a reach buyback? Radiant's top barracks have fallen. Like yeah, that was a definitely a waste of buyback there. I mean, this game is so hard. This game is so hard for Radiant. Yeah. Only if they lose a single fight or, or from a bad decision. Oh, uh, guy will take Vex in a single push. The armor of yeah, the, the Dire Draft is extremely punishing. And the Radiance isn't as much. Purified. Like, theoretically, if the Radiant Smart got some big money. kills, they could push very quickly, but if either the Coddle or the Tinker's alive, it just doesn't work. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Radiant's bottom shrine is under attack. Shadow, take us. You're not going anywhere. Radiant's bottom shrine is under attack. Wow, he has the science off, but they don't have vision again. You do actually. Next up, they should probably oh kill the shot too. That's not bad. Like, oh wait, they got the tinker? Okay, I totally missed the tinker kill. Looks like he just got blown up by a uh, morphling. That's actually pretty big. I think if they just got the nation prop and the shaman, that didn't really mean anything. But the tinker is a big kill. They could maybe get like a T1. It's really sad that that's what it comes to. Like they get this super important kill, that then they can take a T1. That's the kind of game they're playing. They aren't even gonna go for it. I think Morphling could have taken this tower very easily. Double chose not to. Tower is under pinging it out now. That's actually the uh, Dire pinging it out. Oh, they're going for Roshan though. Oh, he had a DD rune. Okay, this is actually even better than the tower, I think. This can allow this morph to play very aggressively. I think he still wants his E Blade. First, if possible. I think he could just go top and take the tower mode with another enemy. Yeah. Come to me. Oh, Eggs on King. I kind of like the axe, actually. Uh, it still does the building thing, right? Yeah, yeah, it does. I think it's very, especially useful this game. Having your buildings unhittable for eight seconds against that lineup. Like, it's theoretically in a fight without the axe. If you ult, they could just still continue hitting the buildings instead of the heroes, but not with the axe. And actually, the duration increases with the axe. Oh yeah, they're 10. Yeah, no, that's, that's very, very good. Invisibility. Right, they've smoked up. They see Coddle. Uh, Drow. They gotta silence the terribly. Use a Manta now though. The arrow hits illusion. The mouse sees it, goes forward. Oh jeez. Being very brave with the, uh, Ah, uh, that was really messy. Well, he's looking. Yeah. Arrow, do 
this Marauder, I don't like this Marauder pick at all. This is not accomplishing anything. <laughs> Every time I look at this Marauder doing something, it's just bad. And it's not really about the player, but yeah, the Mirana position for. Yeah, yeah, I, I don't think it's player at all. I think it's 100% the pick. I think the pick is just bad. Yeah, like, he's, he's, he's trying to do stuff on this Marana, and it, it just doesn't work because you're a position 4 Marana. This tower going down very quickly. Metamorph is over, which is kind of nice. It's actually, it's actually so hard to hit Shaman Wards with the march and the waves going out constantly. Ah, this is another, another loss. Bruno's taking us 2 0. They aren't calling it yet. Need to be faster on that Tinker. That Tinker was in a very bad place for a while. I, I think Drug Not buying it back. Surprised they aren't calling this actually. Radiance bottom tower has fallen. Like they've taken a single T1 and they're about Radiance to get back. That's the shotgun and shot them. Radiance bottom barracks have fallen. That now drop eyes back. After they get mega. The now has mega breach. Kill it terribly. Only just means anything. The they've the already wind. lost. Healing and I mean, how does this team defend against megas? And against their lineup of Rex. Yeah, this. Once they have meta and snakes, they're just gonna run back into your base and finish it off. So I guess we'll watch them play it out as they don't call GG. I think the only way that Radiant wins this if is if Morph can 1v5 them and push along. Radiant's bottom shrine is under attack. Radiant's bottom shrine has fallen. Radiant's top shrine is under attack. Okay, the shrines. Shall smoke up. They're gonna need some ward vision around the base, which is good. I, I see a lot, a lot of games. Fallen. Especially recently, I've been like pubbing with a lot of LE12 guys. Like you, you have the enemy team locked in their base, but then you don't secure vision around it. Yeah, yeah. Get out. Yeah. Smoke up. <laughs> the shop is just popping smoke after smoke. He's wards down, it's pretty funny. I, yeah, I just, I, this is really annoying because it feels like nothing matters at this point. I think Tinker, eggs on Tinker is so huge because he kind of nullifies every damage Radiant can do. Tigger. Tinker Axe is dumb. That Axe needs to be removed from the game or changed or something. I don't know. It's infuriating. I smoked up on the Radiant. They are Marana ulted up. I assume they want to try and kill someone. But preferably before they start hitting buildings. Uh, they hey, Terribly is dead. Shaman already got his wards down, so I don't know how to kill him. Double kill. They are taking out those wards pretty quickly. They lose one and a half towers. I think they should have just sent illusions from Terrorblade. Yeah, this Terrorblade is being far ballsier than you can afford to be. Uh, I think he's kind of been doing that throughout the game, but in this particular point as well. Shotgun is a auto T4 still goes down though. Omni Knight's about to go down. I was about to go down. Didn't bounce. Like, 
Even even with that massive misplay on the Terra Blade, the Terra Blade essentially is almost nothing. So like, the Morphling killing like four people. It doesn't matter. They're, they're mega creeped at 30 minutes. Everything's dying. Oh, he has bleeped in the last second. GG. That is the end of that. Uh, though I think very well drafted by Logan in both games. Yeah, I agree. Uh, the, the, the Dire team just, they could get away with a lot, and the Radiant team was forced to play perfectly. And non surprisingly, no one plays perfectly. I really didn't like the Marana pick, I think, in this in this particular game. That's the one pick that I really disliked. In particular. I think this Coddle did a lot. Both games. Yeah, he actually had the same farm as the Terrorblade by the end of it. Very good. Yeah, having a good support player like that is pretty big. Well, that's it for this week, I guess. We're gonna turn the stream off.